all right y'all so because i didn't want to make a cheap video today because technically i wasn't able to record a gaming video today or edit i decided to just do a quick day in the life so basically i'm gonna catch y'all up i went to work today i got off work got started straight on my work because i got a research critique to do for my psychology class at 11 p.m it is currently let me see what time is it oh wait what time is it oh wait it popped up on my computer it's currently 7 46 p.m y'all it's doing 11 59 p.m i already got a page done i gotta do like i gotta do my summary critique and conclusion so that's three pages i'm gonna get it done but i just want to show you what i do in my life so we're gonna open up the pc all right you got a pc y'all set up video coming soon y'all already getting a little sneak peek but that's cool i like the little portrait mode y'all peeping that Good camera calls you don't play hey shout out bella i mean you know what i'm saying that was kind of wordplay you get what i said i said check out the camera i don't remember what i said shut up all right um <clears throat> that's what i was saying though i'm just doing a little day in life i just got home we went to chili's i was gonna record there but it was family time so i just let it be family time i didn't want to have a camera all out and face stuff but i enjoyed myself my family now we're back home I'm doing a video, and I'm just going to get back to y'all once I make progress on the um, research critique. But I'm going to show y'all a bit of what I've been working on. Okay, so boom, y'all. I'm going to show y'all how you set up. So first, I got dual monitors, so this helps a lot. Usually on this screen, for my research critiques, I have what I need to read. I'm doing an article. Well, I'm doing my research critique on the benefits and challenges of um, service dogs for veterans. I thought this was a pretty interesting topic, and I'm actually pretty much enjoying it so far. But look, y'all, peep me. Y'all, my girl love cozy in the bed. Hey, y'all go sub to her Twitch. This is my homie, for real. This is Nibbles. Y'all may know her by many names. Some may know her by Miss Alpha Plays. Love cozy. Her real name. I ain't going to disclose that because I don't know if she want me to. Nibbles. But if you really OG. Oh, wait. I already said it, right? Miss Alpha Plays. I was going to have a way better presentation than how I presented it. But some of you may know her by Miss Alpha Plays. Shout out to Miss Alpha Plays, man. All right, but I'm sure y'all what I'm working with. So here we got the title page. Check me out. Check me out. We got the title page. I'm doing my research critique, like I said, on the benefits and challenges of using service dog for veterans with PTSD. Pretty interesting topic. Got my starter page here. Blah, blah, blah. Look at the introduction. I would have read this to y'all, but I don't want to bore y'all. But look, I still got a summary to do. Summary is easy because all I'm doing is summarizing this. And truth be told, I'm just going to repeat what I said in my introduction, rephrase it a little bit, take some stuff from here, and boom, I got a summary. You know what I'm saying? You Listen, you got to learn how to... You got to learn how to find loopholes in your assignments. Stop making fresh notes. Copy. Half of these teachers be copying. Y'all. Let me ask you a question. Let me let me flip this around instead of having like. Let me ask you a question. You think teachers don't plagiarize? Give you ten seconds to answer. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exactly. They plagiarize. You wanna know how I know teachers plagiarize? Wait. Don't mind the bottle of lotion hanging from the wall i just remembered it was there listen listen let me let me get let me get back to it it's so that when i'm streaming or something from my hands actually i just turned no, i'm just my i got this up here because you know when you get to the end of the lotion bottle the toothpaste bottle it'd be hard to get out so i take it to the wall so all the lotion can just slide down to the top and i can be able to get out see smart 100 iq that's how you know i'm meant to be in college but that's what i'm saying you think teachers don't plagiarize let me ask you a question if teachers didn't plagiarize why wouldn't I highlight my question, copy and paste on YouTube? I mean, shoot, on Google. You want to know who got the answers? Quizlet. Quizlet been there since day one. So that's how I know teachers place your eyes. Because why am I searching your work up and I'm finding it on somebody else? Quizlet or Prizzy or Chegs. You ain't got the answers. I've been plagiarizing since the day I was born. My name, Tyranny, plagiarized. This shirt, plagiarized. This setup, plagiarized. What you talking about? I've been plagiarizing since the... I've been plagiarizing since I came from heaven. I invented plagiarism. Your name, 
whoever you are behind the screen, Jake Kelly, Samantha Belly, Nibbles, Tibbles, Ribbles, Jordan, Corden, Borden, your name plagiarized. I made you. I kind of sound like Solo Minati. Let me stop. I'm gone. All right, y'all. So here we go. I took a few minutes to focus on. Dang, hold on. I took a few minutes to focus on, like, my annotated notes. So for using for my research critiques, I like to color code what each um point I highlight me. So in this case, let me make sure I say this right. In this case, yellow meant, okay, because I told y'all that the research research critique was about the service dogs helping out the veterans and the benefits and challenges of that. So if it's highlighted yellow, that had some explaining to do to what the dog provided for the veteran. If it was highlighted light blue, that mean that was what the veterans told the researchers or how the veterans reacted. So you understand that green means researchers. It's researchers' evidence, meaning the researchers wrote this or talked about it. And this just helps because when I'm doing my summary and I know I'm about to get to a certain point, it helps me put every single piece of evidence in this exact category, if that makes sense. And down here, this research critique is actually easy. Because my last one I had to do is easy to find, like, critiques, like, oh, they could have did this to make it better. But in this case, they actually fully, like, did really well. They got the benefits of this um experiment, and then they got the challenges, like, the problems they face. So it's going to make it kind of hard to do my critique. But at the same time, I ain't going to stress about it. I'm going to keep it short and simple. If I can't really find none of critique, I'm just going to keep it a book. I'm going like, hey, this, this research paper was good. I really couldn't find nothing. Blah, blah, I ain't no expert. And then the red means this just... I really started doing this at the last time. I could have been doing it. But the red just means these were, like, the bad things that happened. Like, oh, the veterans felt pressure to learn how to commands and all that. But that's overall what I used it for my research. Every method might be different from every college student. But I know for me, I need color code. I color code all my notes. Like, I don't play about that. Color code helps me because I got a pretty creative mind. And I see better when it's color, if that makes sense. Like, if I see color, I know what I'm doing. It helps me, like organize things mentally in my brain and everything but y'all let me get back to y'all once i type up the summary or just finish the essay who knows because it's what time is it it's 8 21 and i told y'all to do it at 11 59 p.m but i want to be asleep by 10 or before my nephews get here so i'm about to hurry up so i can go to sleep soon y'all and edit this video for y'all also y'all i would like to highlight that throughout this process i i am a procrastinator so sometimes it can be an excuse but most of the times I don't really like thing like right now I'm really locked in because I know I want to hurry up and get done and go to sleep because I got work tomorrow. Most of the time I make it a um I make it a routine that not only am I working but every time I put in like thirty minutes to an hour of work which I have did I take a little break because you don't want to tire yourself out mentally and while you're taking a little break you can give your time your your mind to spark some more thoughts or more senses that you can add that be like oh attention grabber so. Right now, I'm about to take a quick little break. I got my bottles burger up because that's what I like to watch. Like I said, I keep showing y'all my setup. I got to stop because I want it to be a nice reveal. But either way, I still got more to add to the setup. So y'all ain't going to see a setup video for a while. But while we're going to take a break, so y'all my fish tank. I'm going to show y'all this in the setup video too, but not really. I might as well show y'all this now. Got this little fish tank. Let me see if I can find Midnight, y'all. That's her name. She be hiding, bro. I'm not going to lie. This little, I got all, there she go. You see her up there, y'all? She be hiding. Um, that you can't really see. Let me flip the camera. Look, y'all. She all the way up there. Y'all see her? Midnight, right there. You see her move. She all black, so it'll be hard to find her. That's why I named her Midnight, too. She cute, though. I love her. Y'all want to see her in the fish tennis open today. Hey, Midnight. Say hey to the camera. You see her wave. It don't play. She real friendly. Even though they say she aggressive because Vader's aggressive, she's still real friendly. So shout out to Midnight, man. Shout out to Skippy. I got two pets now. Don't play. All right, bye, y'all, because I'm wasting my 30 minute break. All right, y'all, so I took me a little break. You see, I lost the hoodie. Still got a good message on my shirt, though. It say, thank God, because always thank God. But look, y'all, it is now 9.02. The paper is due at 11.59, and I need to hurry up because not only do I have to finish this paper now, I want to be able to put this video out for y'all, or I'm going to have to make a real cheap video. So let me stop talking, cut on my boss burger, and type this summary up real quick, and then a critique, and then a conclusion. Probably going to have a word it a little bit, but that's like that. I'm trying to dump the semester. You heard me. Bye. All right, y'all. So here's the progress. It's 969. I got one more page to do. I got the, um, I got the, what is it? The summary out the way. I just got to do the critique and then do my conclusion. Then I'm done. I, if I hurry up, I could probably finish it soon because it's not much to critique in this article. And I'm not saying that to be lazy. I actually just really couldn't find nothing. So I'm really just going to mention how strong the argument was or this article was and hope I can get away with it. 
I don't really care as long as I get an 80 or above because I don't give a frick. I just want to finish like, this video and get it out for y'all. But, yeah. I'm working on a critique. What I'm basically just about to do is go through all my color-coded notes and just basically say, oh, white here was a strong point, white here was a strong point, maybe trying to make up some weak point. Yeah. See you.